Instead of viciously competing with other companies, find a way to work in a marketplace free of competitors. The Blue Ocean strategy encourages tweaking your products to push them into their own market with low prices and no competition. Of the many strategic planning models that exist, the Blue Ocean strategy could be considered the pacifist of the group. Today, we will tell you everything about Blue Ocean. Seven, what is the Blue Ocean Strategy? The Blue Ocean Strategy is about helping your company gain uncontested market space separate from other similar businesses. These new spaces are described as Blue Oceans, a term meant to contrast with the struggle for survival in bloody red oceans swarming with vicious competition. The Blue Ocean Strategy represents the simultaneous pursuit of high product differentiation and low cost, making the competition irrelevant. The name Blue Ocean Strategy comes from the book Blue Ocean Strategy, How to Create Uncontested Market Space and Make Competition Irrelevant. Professor W. Chan Kim, who co-authored the book with Renee Mauborn, explained the concept in a Forbes article. Our study shows that Blue Ocean Strategy is particularly needed when supply exceeds demand in a market. This situation is applying to more and more industries today and will be even more prevalent in the future. 6. Pros and Cons of the Blue Ocean Strategy The Blue Ocean Strategy might be a boon for your business or it might unintentionally hamper your operations. Look over the Blue Ocean pros and cons to decide if the strategy is right for you. Pros of the Blue Ocean Strategy These are some of the benefits of the Blue Ocean Strategy. You avoid saturated markets. Your small businesses must compete with mega corporations and other major players in your field. But if you adopt the Blue Ocean Strategy, your product won't be quite like anything else while still addressing the customer needs at affordable prices. You'll end up with no competition from the powerful big games in your field. It introduces growth potential. Going the Blue Ocean route means balancing product or service innovation with cost and utility, creating new value for your customers. As more customers buy what you sell, word-of-mouth advertising can increase demand. You'll meet customers on their level. Value and affordability are equally important in Blue Ocean thinking. You can always introduce your innovations at price points your target customers can accommodate. This approach lowers your audience's barrier to buying what you sell. Cons of the Blue Ocean Strategy These are some downsides to the Blue Ocean Strategy. It may be too ambitious. The logic behind the Blue Ocean Strategy implies that any business can come up with an affordable, competition-free product or service. In reality, it's not always easy to be this innovative. Even if you have a great idea, real-world constraints could get in the way of making it a reality. It may be too risky. Perhaps you have found a way to make a completely unique product without setting an absurd price. Maybe you've come to this crossroads because people in your small business niche would buy from your business. But what if these people are the only ones interested in your offerings? If that's the case, the Blue Ocean approach would needlessly constrain you. It may be impermanent. Innovations yield imitators, which means a Blue Ocean could easily become a Red Ocean with time. Even if a Blue Ocean strategy feels ideal for your business right now, it could cease to be possible in the long term. 5. How to Implement a Blue Ocean Strategy Kim and Mauborn's book suggests taking the following steps to implement a Blue Ocean Strategy. Figuring out a starting point for introducing your new offerings and hire employees who will help you build the strongest team and brand identity. Assess your current team's strengths and weaknesses and determine how to improve them. Identify pain points that your current and new customers might have. Develop products and services that address these pain points in ways unlike any other business. Write a formal plan for your shift and test your new products and services and the processes you'll take to get there. 4. 
Examples of Blue Ocean Strategy The Blue Ocean Strategy might sound new, but businesses have been successfully using it for quite some time. Even before Kim and Mauborn named the approach, here are three examples. Ford When household name automotive company Ford launched its now legendary Model T series, most manufacturers were customizing cars to each buyer's needs. This approach led to high prices and inconsistent quality. By contrast, the Model T came in just one color and model for every customer. The lack of customization led to lower prices and more consistent quality. Ford's approach became the basis of the modern auto industry. Nintendo When Nintendo introduced the Wii in 2006, the company avoided competing with the Xbox and PlayStation on graphics. Instead, Nintendo prioritized wireless motion control gameplay that was unavailable on other systems. That's how Nintendo was able to introduce more interactive, physical games like the Wii Sports series. The game's popularity, as well as that of the console, grew rapidly. Netflix Netflix has successfully employed the Blue Ocean model twice. Reed Hastings and Mark Randolph founded the company as the first-ever mail-order DVD rental business in 1997. Of course, Netflix eventually introduced the streaming TV model that permeates virtually every aspect of modern life. In both cases, the strategy paid off and made Netflix a household name on the level of Walmart or Amazon. Did you know, other companies that have used Blue Ocean strategies include Apple, Yellowtail, Amazon, and Home Depot. 3. Finding Blue Oceans While they avoided mentioning Harvard Business School's Michael E. Porter by name, Kim and Mauborn attacked his famous Five Forces market analysis head-on. Porter's model looks at specific factors that help determine whether a business can be profitable based on other businesses in the industry. Advocates of Kim and Mauborn's strategy would say this tactic promotes merciless competition, remaining in the Red Ocean. The key to exceptional business success, Kim and Mauborn say, is to redefine the terms of competition and move into the blue ocean, where you have the water to yourself. The goal of these strategies is not to beat the competition, but to make the competition irrelevant. To discover an elusive blue ocean, Kim and Mauborn recommended considering what they call the Four Actions Framework to reconstruct buyer value elements in crafting a new value curve. 2. Blue Ocean Strategy in Practice Kim pointed out how Amazon has shifted from an online retailer to a digital platform that sells practically anything. Just think of its initial Blue Ocean shift in book retailing that separated it from the pack with its offerings of the largest selection of books in the world, good prices, automatic confirmation of buyer's orders, its useful selection on people who bought this book also bought, and first-hand reviews on what readers found useful or not in the book. 1. Making the shift to a blue ocean strategy When there is limited room to grow, businesses should try to look for verticals to find new sectors where they can enjoy uncontested market share. The aim is to capture new demand with a superior product that makes competition irrelevant. Unfortunately, this isn't always successful. As stories continue to expand and American shopping habits change, retailers are struggling financially. Stores such as Nine West, Claire's, and the Bonton stores are a few among the multitude of companies that have filed for bankruptcy in the last several years. For struggling businesses, Mauborn recommended the strategy Canvas, which is featured in her newer book with Kim, Blue Ocean Shift. What do you think of this strategy? Thanks for watching.